In this country, two of the biggest credit card companies, Capital One and Discover Financial, have agreed to merge in a $35 billion deal. If it goes through, it could have big implications for consumers. Jolene Kent has more. Jolene, good morning. So explain to me, what's the likely impact on credit card users? Vlad, good morning. Credit card users, for now, are not going to see any big, big changes, but some consumer advocates are saying this deal is concerning because it will result in more consolidation in the banking and credit card industries, which could mean less choice down the road for consumers. Now, Capital One is one of the larger banks and credit card companies in the U.S., and Discover is one of four major credit card players, but it's the smallest among Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. Now, Capital One, of course, stands to benefit a lot from this deal, given that Americans right now are using credit cards more than ever before. Credit card debt is at record highs. It's currently sitting at over $1 trillion. And on top of that, the average interest rate on a bank credit card is roughly 21.5%. That's the highest it's been since the Federal Reserve began tracking this nearly 30 years ago. So while that's good news for the credit card companies, it's a big question mark for consumers, right? Capital One CEO, however, Richard Fairbank, said in a statement late last night that Capital One and Discover could more aggressively compete against those larger credit card companies once they're a combined company. But of course, before anything can happen, this deal has to be approved by regulators. And you can bet it's going to receive significant antitrust scrutiny from the feds. Capital One hoping to close this deal at the end of the year or early next. Jerika. All right, Jolene Kent in Los Angeles. Thank you.